Hello Grade 9s, up until this point we have covered geometry, Mr. Mdluli covered congruency, and he also started with similarity. And today we are going to continue with similarity. But before we go on, let us quickly discuss what Mr. Mdluli shared in the previous video. So triangles are considered similar when they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. And we can prove similarity in two ways. The first way is by proving that all interior angles of the triangle are equal or the same size. And the second way to prove similarity is by proving corresponding sides are proportional. And Mr. Mdluli explained how to do this methodically. Now, in today's example, we are going to build on the knowledge shared before. If you do not understand similarity, please go watch the video that was sent on Google Classroom. So in this example, we want to prove these two triangles similar. What we are given is that the line AB is parallel to the line DE. And remember, parallel lines are shown by arrows. We are also given the lengths of line AB, BC, CD, CE, and AC. So all of these numbers are already filled in. And what we want to prove now is that the triangle ABC is similar to the triangle DCE. Remember, the notation for similarity is three lines in a vertical position. For congruency, it is three lines that are horizontal. But congruency means the two triangles are exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. Similarity means they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So if I want to prove these two triangles similar, I must either prove that the ratios are equal, or I can prove all of the angles equal. So let us start with our first statement. I can say that angle C1 is equal to angle C2 because they are vertically opposite angles. Remember, in geometry, we need to state a reason why a statement is true. Secondly, we have angle A equal to angle E because they are alternate angles based on the parallel lines. And remember, for alternate angles, we need to say which lines are parallel to each other. And thirdly, we have angle B equal to angle D. And they are also alternate angles because the line AB is parallel to the line DE. Now we have proven three sets of angles equal to each other. Therefore, triangle CAB is similar to triangle CED, angle, angle, angle. And notice I changed the letters around. So on the left hand side, I used all the information in triangle ABC. And on the right hand side, I used all the information of triangle DCE. But the way I wrote the similarity is I went from top to bottom, C, A, B, and that's the order of the letters here. And the second triangle is C, E, D. For grade 9, it's not necessary to, to follow this method, but it will help you in grade 12 when we do similarity and proportionality again. And it's a little shortcut on how to find the ratios. But more about that in grade 12. Now, the second type of question that can be asked is to solve the value of x. And we are going to follow the same strategy that Mr. Mdluli said, is to pair up 
the sides that look similar. So I can see the proportion of 9 fits the proportion of 3. So I can create a ratio of 9 over 3. And 15 over 5 will create the same proportion. So they are paired up. And the line AB is then paired up with the line DE. So now I know which lengths to use together. And what I want to create is proportions of the same size. So this is what I mean. The line AC is 15 units. And the line CE is 5 units. So 15 over 5 is equal to 3. And I can see the line BC, 9, over the line CD, 3, is also equal to 3. So now I know the constant value that I'm looking for is 3. So therefore, if I take the line AB and I divide it by the line DE, the value is supposed to give me 3 because the triangle on the left is similar to the triangle on the right, which we have proven before. But the length of line AB is 12 units and the length of line DE is 3 units and that must be equal to 3. Now I can find x by multiplying x with 3 to get 3x is equal to 12. And I divide both sides by 3. So therefore x is equal to 4.